documents on. All right, guys. So we'll be looking at what the types of flagella arrangements in bacteria. Okay, or you can also name this topic as um, classification of bacteria based on what flagella arrangement. All right. And this is still our elementary microbiology classes. And our focus today is to talk about the types of flagella arrangement in bacteria, all right? So you can see we have the monotrichous uh, flagellum, that's bacteria that are having just one flagella. We have the amphitrichous, which is what they are having one flagella on both sides. Then we have the lophotrichous, that they are having um, so many flagella, but on the same side, do you understand? Then we have the peritrichous which is having what flagella all around it, okay? But uh, that's not the end of the lecture. We, we actually have some few write-ups for us, okay? So if you just pay attention, this lecture will really, really be of use to you. So guys, let's explore the fascinating world of bacteria flagella and their various arrangements, okay? So we have the monotrichous flagella, uh, we said that uh, for the description, monotrichous flagella have a single polar flagellum located at one end of the cell. Monotrichous bacteria, okay? They have just one flagella at one side of the cell. And examples of bacteria that are, 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 are monotrichous, we have uh, Vibro cholerae, we have the Campylobacter species. Uh, that exhibits uh, monotrichous flagella, all right? So in some cases, uh, polar flagella occurs in pairs, giving a seagull appearance in certain bacteria like what Pseudomonas, all right? Then we have the ampi, amphitrichous flagella. This is amphitrichous flagella. It's basically one flagella and one flagella on both ends. Do you understand? So for the description of what amphitrichous flagella, we have uh, Amphitrichous uh, bacteria possess two flagella, uh, one at each end of the cell, right? So this is pretty easy. Then examples of bacteria that actually exhibit this, we have the Aquaspirillum serpents. Aquaspirillum uh, serpents is an example of bacteria with what? Amphitrichous flagella, all right? So we'll be moving to the next one now. That's the second to the last as a Lophotrichous flagella. Uh, you can see that Lophotrichous flagella is basically having so many flagella, but they are at one end. Do you understand? All right. So Lophotrichous flagella, we see that for the description, Lophotrichous flagella have two or more flagella clustered at one or both ends of the cell. Do you understand? So examples of uh, Lophotrichous flagella, uh, uh, fluorescence, a Pseudomonas fluorescence is a bacterium exhibiting Lophotrichous flagella. All right, so uh, you guys should pay attention. For the Lophotrichous, uh, this cluster of flagella could be at one end or, or both ends. Do you understand, All right? Each, either of which it should be Lophotrichous flagella. Then we have the Peritrichous flagella. For the description, we said that peritrichous flagella have flagella distributed all over the cell surface, right? So you have cases of flagella being distributed all over the cell surface, and this is what we term the peritrichous flagella, right? So uh, for examples of bacteria that exhibit peritrichous flagella includes various species where the flagella surrounds the entire cell, right? So we have so many bacteria on the this species of what peritrichous all right so guys that's it about the types of flagella arrangements in bacteria all right as we continue talking about the bacteria you guys will understand more right continue talking about this bacteria so that this type of bacteria is peritrichous so that at least you guys have already known the elementaries okay so let's move on to the next